So I've had a few emails that have been asking me how this is going. Now it's quite a slow project because it's taking a lot of different components, having to manufacture stuff, get it made, sent over and so forth. So it's a bit, it takes a bit of time, but I'm getting there now. So what we've got is we've got a 50 hertz uh, sine wave comes in to this board, goes from this board, splits over to a voltage signal board and to a current signal board. But also I can shift using these two potentiometers amplitude and phase angle. Right. So from the voltage signal board, it goes out through power amps, transformers, into a star output. You could technically hook it up as a delta if you wanted, but it's got star into this, which is Mark 6E uh, EDMI um, energy meter. Now that's what's uh, giving me the, the feedback. I haven't used my own one. I've just used this one because it's a uh, Got more, a bit more functionality into it. The current board is similar. I go, goes from the signal board, comes out into this one, which is pretty, it's the same as this one, basically. But I'm, I'm using those signals to make current. So from here, I go into these three power amps, and from these three power amps, I go through a resistor, through the, um, the measurement device, and back. All right, so effectively the resistors a form a load bank and pull the current. Now I'm looking at different ways to produce current other than using resistors, because uh, with these I have to uh, deal with the heat issues, but uh, that's to come. The transformers, these are just temporary transformers. I'm going to use uh, bigger units here, because these are only um, was it two and a half VA each, so that's not enough for me. And these are 100 watts, so these are 100 VA output technically, so. Um, you know it's going to have, it's not going to take it and if you try and push these they get hot so yeah so i'll show you how it's working on the computer now this is the dis output of the uh, the meter you can see i have different angles and different uh, currents on each channel now it's not perfect because i've still got to tune everything make the wires a bit neater to eliminate noise because i do have measured some and that's some of the problem all right but uh, i'll demonstrate how it works so this is the phaser diagram so i'll go ahead and uh, adjust some stuff so we'll do amplitude we'll do phase so you can see i can spin it right around see it getting quite big here the phase again slow to update you can go right round the only limit is I've got 180 degrees with one signal so I need to create two to get the other so what I would do is use one signal in line with the volts and then have a 180 degree signal out to give me the current output if you think this project is interesting consider subscribing and hitting that like button and at the very end, I'll give you all the uh, instructions and documents to build your own. But uh, so far, total investment, 150 Australian dollars. What's that? 100 bucks American.